We're going to look at how Formpack can help manage information in the flavour industry. Let's look at some raw materials. So we'll start with PG, propylene glycol. We used the short name so we could get to it more quickly. And here you can see some basic details. In the identification tab you can see things like the chemical name, the CAS number and INEX number. And you can have more than one of those. Properties, so here we see some physical data. And you can see lots of different styles of properties you can see here. So let's have a look at global usability. These are properties that I've configured for this demonstration. Maybe if you've got multiple inventory numbers you can have this kind of information here. It's completely configurable. Let's have a look at some food information. So here we can see some energy values, some food and drink limits. Formpack will use these to calculate the properties of formulations. Now let's have a look at some lemon oil and some of the properties attached to here. So again some basic details in the identification tab, things like the CAS and INEX number again. Certification, this is a tab where you can manage status like kosher and organic, the process as well as those properties. In the classification tab we've entered some information about how it tastes and smells. Composition information. This is about the composition that's attached to this raw material. So here we see it. This is information from the IFRA IOFE labelling manual. And all these things can be taken into account and calculated for things like allergens. Properties again. So physical data. Let's take a look this time at some of the EC hazard label information. So there it is. This information again is IFRA IOFI information. You can see all the details there. Natural sources. The legislation's changed in this area and you can use Formpack to monitor and manage this information. Let's take a look at some formulations. So we're going to take a look at a soup seasoning. Obviously I'm not a flavourist so please apologies for if this formulation looks a little strange. On the composition tab you can see information about the version. So this is the last updated version for the formulation. Helps you manage them. Properties again. You can see things like EC hazard labels. This information has been calculated by Formpack. You can see there the methods calculated based on the ingredients and the hazards that were attached to them. Let's take a look at the composition. So here we go, lots of things going on with this formulation, complex items as well as some simple ones too, and things that contribute to the nutrition information also. So let's look at some of these other properties that Formpack's calculated. Transport hazards, it's looked at the hazards associated with the formulation and determined which UN class, for example, it's in. On the global usability, it's looked at the ingredients again and determined it's GMO free. And food information, it's calculated out things like food allergens, food and drink limits, energy values and other nutritional information. On the food allergens, if you look this says two entries and some more information here. Now let's take a look at some documents. Documents can be produced by the application so you can always know what information you've told your customers. So let's have a look at the food allergen declaration. The most recent version is version 2. We can just print that and here's what it says. Now let's take a look at another formulation. Let's choose lime lemon and look again, we can see some key details, some classification information. So we've said it's citrus and entered in some intended applications and very useful in selection. And here information about the version. And again on to properties. Let's take a look at the composition so we can appreciate some of these properties. 
So you can see, again, some simple and some complex items. We can do things with this window. We can resize columns, we can move things around. In addition, we can change the information displayed, so we customize the columns. And we can remove some of the information that's there. And maybe we want to add in some additional information. So these properties can be picked up from the properties that exist within the application, which are highly configurable and you can add them. Here we're just picking up on a couple of quite simple ones that may relate, for example, to inventory numbers at different sites. And there they are. Some of the information has gone and some new information is there. And we can resize the information as well. Let's take another look at documents. So for this item, let's have a look at the safety data sheet. Formpack has calculated this information for the formulation lemon lime. And here is the safety data sheet in accordance with reach. Hazard information. You can see there that it's looking at the ingredients, for example, in the essential oils. And there's the other pages for the safety data sheet. Of course, this is just a very brief overview of what the software can do. Please contact us for further information.